Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So in this video we are going to be making, I don't know, just a few little random things to add to a journal I'm currently working on. This super cute bunny journal. Uh, I've only got as far as putting together the um, cover. So we got that all taken care of. I got these pretty colors inside. I really like this. I, I want to add some more, of course, to the cover because I feel like it may look a little plain. It's super cute, but yeah, I feel like it looks a little plain. So, but I really love the pink ruffles on the side and uh, yeah, I really like it. I think it's super adorable. So let's make a few things to put inside. I'm thinking, um, I'm thinking about using I know I was I made a video about me making the snippet roll full of all these super pretty different things and I think I might actually end up using some of these inside that journal like maybe this one as like a pretty sure we can use it as like a fabric tuck or something I dropped something on the floor or something we can figure out what I'm gonna use it for but in this video we're just gonna kind of stick to making some little things to add to it. So this I really want to put in it. It's super cute. I used my Cricut to cut out a little envelope and then I had it write this on there. You make this world a beautiful place. I think it's a cute little message. So what I want to essentially do is be able to just paper clip this in and have a few little goodies inside. Um, so yeah. Let's see what we're going to do because I kind of wanted to decorate it because while it's very pretty, the um, cardstock that I used, I still want to add a little something to it. Uh, now I got this really pretty patch. Uh, it, you're supposed to sew it on, but I'm going to just glue it. I don't know if I want to put it on here. I think it looks so adorable. Um, or let's see, I might make an altered paper clip to put this in because I think that would be super duper cute. Uh, let's see, I'm thinking maybe use this. Let's see, like that. Let's see if I can change the angle so you can see a little better. There we go, that's a lot better. So, um, yes, so I think I'm going to sew this together. I'll just sew it along the the back here and I'm thinking what else do we want to add to this maybe a cute little button yeah I think honestly I think that's it I think that's gonna be our paper clip I think it's super adorable and it'll look really cute tucking that in that is the fastest I've ever come up with an idea so that's good well it's probably because I already had like certain things picked out that I knew that I wanted to go into this journal so made it a little easier so I'm gonna sew this I'll be right back Okay, there we go. I got that all sewn together, like so. And I think I want to put the little green button because I think that would be um, super cute, kind of. Oh, you know, we could even just attach that. Uh, no, nah, I think we'll make it into the paper clip. So, do I want to just glue on the button or do I want to sew the button? Uh, let's see. Where do I have my thread here? I know I had it, I just don't know where I put it. Um, I do wanna sew it on because I feel like, um, obviously it's gonna hold on a lot better. So let me go find my thread because like I said, I thought it was here, but it's not here. I'll be right back. Okay, I found it. So I am back. We got just like a cream, creamish white color. Just gonna cut a little bit off here. Oh, totally missed it. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Now let's go ahead and thread this needle. Got it. And let's get this button on. Super quick, super easy. Wait, wrong way. <laughs> okay, sorry, I had to get it a little closer so I could uh, see, so I didn't poke myself. I'm going to go from the top through the bottom. And then I think I've said this before, but I just like at that point to tie it off and then we'll just that because I feel like it kind of is more secure as I'm trying to sew the rest of it on. So we'll just tie it 
like twice, and then we'll get back at it. Rethread our needle. Let's see, it was kind of easy the first time, but oh yeah, okay, good. That was easy peasy too. All right, now let's go through, I wanna get it through the next hole, so hopefully we can do that. It's always so hard to get into these buttons. I don't know why. Let's see. Let's see if maybe, let me bring it closer to me and then I'll put it back in frame. I, there we go. Got it. It's like one of those things where you need to really be able to look closely at it. So, so yeah. We're just gonna go through it a couple times. We will tie off the back. I think on this one we'll do three ties just to, you know, be safe. Make sure it's not gonna, you know, come off or anything. Even though I just said it'll be pretty sturdy being glued down, we still just want to take that little extra precaution. All right, now let me cut off these little strings. Bam. All right, now. I'm thinking, I already kind of have my paper picked out for the back. I want to use the same paper that I was using for the inside cover. So I think that would be super cute. And I'm just going to kind of measure it here. And we'll cut it. Let's see. Maybe like right there. <laughs> no, that's not the right way to cut. And then what do I want to do? I kind of want to leave the, oh, sorry, very loud. I want to leave this kind of just without any paper behind it. So I think if we cut like right there, that could be good. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. That's going to look super cute. So let's, should I sew this on? No, if I was going to sew it on, I should have done it before the, before the, I sewed the other part on, but that's okay. Now I see we need to cut this a little bit, like right there maybe, yeah. I think if maybe I round the corners, that could be good so that you don't really see it as much through. I'm just gonna use my scissors just to do a quick rounding because I do not know where my, <laughs> my corner punch is. That's okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm pretty sure I've said that before. My favorite thing about junk journals is it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, here we go. Yeah, I think that's gonna be good, like that. And then that'll be the back. All right, let me go ahead and glue it. Well, oh, well, let, first let's put our paper clip on. Okay, it's gonna kind of hang down because I do want it to be like this when we, when we, um, paper clip it in to the journal so it'll look like that. All right, so let me just get the glue and you know what glue I'm gonna use, Fabrifix, because I know that'll just really, really adhere it really well. Let me hold this down while we kind of do it. I did have a video of me making altered paper clips if you guys wanna check that out. Um, it was a little while back, not sure how long ago, but I mean, they're just really fun to make. And it's nice because then you don't just have a plain, boring paper clip, you know? You have a really cute paper clip that you've made yourself and you've really made it your own, which I really love. So, there we go. We got it glued down. I'm just going to kind of take these little stringies off the side there. Really get it on there. All right. There we go, now we have this really beautiful paper clip. It's a little uneven, but it's okay. And we'll be able just to clip it on just like that onto the page and it's gonna look beautiful. So I kinda, like I said, wanna decorate this up still. Oh, you know what? I wonder, <laughs> I just got these bows cause they're so pretty. I've been wanting to get some new little, some new little bows and I found these ones. I wanted to find them in white, but I couldn't. They didn't have any. They just had them in the pink. What do we think of that? Add a little more something to it. Do we like that or without? Let's see. Let's do with. 
Mm, it's hard to tell. It feels a little plain now that I've added these on. You know what? I think we're going to add them. Yeah. I kind of like them. <laughs> and we'll just put a little dab on the back and hopefully that'll hold it pretty well. I think it should. Put it right here, kind of close by. And another little dab on the back here. There we go. Bring you in a little closer so you can kind of see a little better what I'm doing here. And there we go. Well, I think that looks really pretty. Yeah, I think I like it. Um, sorry. <laughs> I think I like that one a lot. That is really pretty. Okay, we're well, just going to kind of let it dry for a minute there. Okay, and then let's see. What are we going to want to do next to kind of jazz up this envelope? Because, oh, I got the strings on the back here. Let me pull those off. Oh, no, one of them fell off. I didn't leave it long enough. Okay, I got to leave them a little bit longer to dry before I try moving it around. I'm pretty sure. Or I need more glue. <laughs> Probably that. That I need more glue. So I'm just going to add a good chunk on there. Or a good glob, you know, to really... Sorry, I'm just kind of all over the place here. Okay. Push it down really well. There we go, yeah. Oh no, my nail polish got, what the heck? Okay. Okay, I don't think these bows are working on here. Maybe I need to sew them in. I'm not sure. How come my nail polish came off on it? That's strange. Oh, it's not really strange actually. <laughs> I noticed that the Fabrifix kind of eats through your nail polish. That is pretty crazy. <laughs> pretty crazy to think, right? Okay, I added some more glue on this side. I'm really hoping this holds. Otherwise, we'll just call it a loss. And maybe we can put something else in its place to kind of cover up the fact that we used the Fabrifix. Okay, I think that's holding a lot better. It doesn't want to focus. I think that's holding better. Okay, let's set that to the side for sure <laughs> to make sure it dries completely. And let's kind of... What I'm thinking of putting in here are some little flowers that can be added to the journal. I think that's so pretty, these flowers, these um, little pink ones. And let's see what else. Oh, I wanted to show you guys. I recently got a button maker. It's the We Are Memory Keepers button maker, and I've been <laughs> making my buttons here. Um, I am going to do a video on it pretty soon of making our own buttons and essentially they're pins. It says that they're buttons, but you know, they're just pins that was actually open. But what I wanted to show you guys is a few of the ones I made. Well, I'm just going to show one because I think it's going to be cute to add. Sorry, that was a little loud. Um, I think I'm going to add this button to the journal somewhere. I was thinking, can I put it on here? Would that be cute? But no, I think it's because, you know, you got a lot of circles, so it doesn't really look the best. But I do have my handy dandy um, <laughs> jar of, mm, you know, fun stuff. So maybe we can find something here to throw on. As you guys know, I love the hearts, so we might use some hearts because that's just pretty. And that Fabrifix just gets all over your fingers. Let's see, um, this one could be pretty. We, the thing is, we don't want to put it, we don't want to make it too busy because we are going to be putting that paper clip on to hold it. Maybe we just do buttons because buttons is, are cute. I really like buttons on things. <laughs> it's a really nice, pretty, like, light pink. Oh, and maybe some little blue ones. Like, just like a little corner detail. That could be really cute, actually. Uh, and these, I'm not going to sew. I'm just going to glue. And I think they'll hold pretty well. So let's go ahead and do that. Mm, I'm going to use Fabrifix, even though it's being a little difficult on me today. <laughs> I'm going to use it anyway. Hopefully it holds it. Have I, I haven't had trouble with the buttons holding with the Fabrifix. You know, you just have to let them dry up pretty well. Let's go ahead and get the blue one on. You know, I forgot I'm zoomed in, so you can't really see what I'm doing here. But there we go. We'll add the glue to the blue. 
Add that there in this little corner. Now, I mean, the, the glue does come out a little bit, but that's why I don't want to press too hard on them so that not too much comes out. Use this on this one. We do want to push down a little bit, though, so to kind of spread out the glue. There we go. Ah, I'm stuck. <laughs> uh, let me get that back in frame. There we go. Yeah, I think that's cute. I really like it. I, um... Yeah, I think it came out really adorable, like that. I wanted to put this bunny somewhere, but maybe not on this. Let's back up a little. Maybe not on this. I, th I mean, <laughs> I like it on there, but I think it would get in the way of our paper clip. It's always hard to get these on. There we go. Yeah, it would definitely get in the way of our paper clip. So I think we're just going to leave this just like this. Look at how cute that is. Yeah, that's going to be adorable, just like um, placed on a page. Now, I don't have my pages yet in that journal, which <laughs> I kind of showed you already. Let me grab a journal just to kind of show you what it's going to look like. Okay, I grabbed the journal that we were working on. We are very close here, it feels like. Let me kind of move everything. <laughs> okay, we kind of moved to a different position. Um, so let's see. Let me find a cute page to put it on. Yeah, if you guys don't know, we I have some videos where we were kind of decorating pages and stuff like that. Um, anyway, now's not the time. <laughs> now's not the time to look at all that. But let's see. Let's find a good. Uh, let's find a good page. Here, you know what? This will be fine. I, I don't think we need like too much. You know what I mean? I just kind of want to show you what it's gonna look like when you paper clip it on. technical difficulties here. Let's just get a pink page because I think there we go. Now you can even either put it just like this or we can put this over like that which um, let me get you into frame here. We can put it over like that where it looks super cute on the other side and then we can paper clip it which I think that's how I'm going to do it when I get the journal done because then you got that cute little thing but this is what it'll look like. But of course in the in a little kid's journal. Although, I mean, this is really pretty for this journal too. I really like it. Um, so yeah, there we go. There we have it. We have our, we made an altar paper clip and our pretty little um, envelope with some pretty flowers inside that can be added to the journal. All right, there we go. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, if you would like to go ahead and give this a thumbs up and subscribe and hit your bell notification so you know when I upload a video if you'd like to see some more. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.